Link Lessons Learned. When using the Link Topology Builder, use only internal FQDNs and IPs for servers. External IPs and FQDNs will cause problems. The Link front end cannot coexist with Exchange or Active Directory. The Link Edge cannot coexist with Exchange or Active Directory. SharePoint and Exchange cannot coexist. Several SSL certificates are necessary. We recommend using GoDaddy. They don't offer trials or refunds, but they're the lowest cost provider. We've tested with Komodo and VeriSign UCC certificates as well. VeriSign does offer refunds, but their certificates are far more expensive. Komodo does offer a trial, but not for their UCC product. Active Directory users that are in admin groups like Domain Admins cannot be added to Link via the Link Control Panel, and a commandlet must be run. The video on adding users covers that commandlet. The Link Control Panel won't work locally because of IPv6 if you limit the IP that Link listens on. You want to use Use All Configured IP Addresses. That setting is specified in the install video. In terms of requirements, to do a Link deployment available on the Internet, you need four Windows licenses. Windows Enterprise which includes four virtual licenses, works. So a license for Active Directory, a license for Exchange, a license for Link Front End, and a license for Link Access Edge. An internal DNS server is necessary. The one on an Active Directory machine is fine. And an external DNS server is necessary. That can be one on an Active Directory machine, or it can be one exposed to the internet or it could be one that's hosted elsewhere. In order to support federation with service providers like AOL and MSN Messenger, the Link UCC certificate needs to have a common name of the federation SIP URL. You'll see that in a later video. When IMing people at AOL you want to take their AOL screen name or their AIM screen name and add in at AOL.com. For the demo, you'll need at least four static IP addresses. One for Exchange, one for Link Web, one for Link SIP, and one for the IntelliPeer SIP trunk. A local certification authority is also necessary on the domain. There is a link test website at testocsconnectivity.com. We have found that the SRV record for SIP internal TLS dot underscore TCP seems to cause the test site to fail. The easiest way to test SRV records is via NSLOOKUP. The command is laid out in the training videos. It is NSLOOKUP space dash Q equals SRV space underscore SIP dot underscore TLS dot macro connect dot CO where macroconnect.co is your domain name. The reverse proxy role can't be on an access edge server because of IP and port conflicts. If you don't have a reverse proxy server, the videos show how you can use your firewall to configure rules that will work around the lack of a reverse proxy server. If you run into any problems, the Windows Event Viewer under Applications, Service Logs, Link Server is the place to problem solve.